Welcome back to the lab guys. Today I've got a little bit different video. I'm going to be working with a colleague of mine where he's going to be actually, he found a really awesome uh, ASUS little micro ATX board. We're actually not even sure what it has inside so it's kind of, there's a lot in store here so it's going to be really cool to set up. Um, he's going to go ahead and put it on screen here. So here we go, micro ATX board. We're going to go ahead and be putting this, as you see down here, into this old Barracuda Network spam filter. So go ahead and stick around and get ready. All right, so uh, first thing we're going to need to do is get all this old stuff out of here because it is obsolete and we do not need it. An example of how old this thing is, we were looking at the RAM earlier, and this has still got DDR RAM in it. Mind you, it's 512 megs. Which, I mean, yeah, that, 512 megs, which is... That was probably pretty significant pretty, back in the day. Pretty, pretty good. Yeah, this was screaming back in the day. <laughs> but check out this heat sink. I know. Look at this. Dynatron. Di I was about to say the Dynatron. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I guess let's just, let's just start taking it apart. I'm gonna go ahead and move over some of this other stuff that we're not gonna use yet. Yep, yep. Yeah, just start taking her apart. Interesting. Alright, so let's get the SATA out of here. I don't know what this cable goes to. Check this out. What is it like? It goes back here to the parallel plug, like the serial yeah. plug, which is interesting. And yeah. it ran up to here. Oh, it's probably to do with the uh, the uh, LED indicator. Right? Yeah. LED indicators on the front to communicate statuses properly. If probably. I okay, that makes sense. And I wonder if this was like old school HA, or I don't know what this what like what the parallel port would have been used for. There. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's interesting. I'm just sorry. This I'm still flabbergasted over the copper. Yeah, it's, it's probably worth something. Just cause, yeah, I know, just because of the copper, just because of the copper. Yeah, I know. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Just well, I, I just know I, what the weight is. I want to. Well, first off, I want to see what's under it. Yeah. Like I, I'll, I'm gonna be real, real quick. Like if we. <laughs> yeah, I'm interested to see what is. What kind of ram was that? <laughs> See, that was... But between both of these, these were just good random finds. Manufactured Dude, by Samsung. wait till you feel the weight on this. Wow. Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> dude, that is solid. That's solid copper. Somebody really liked thermal paste back in the day, man. That's solid copper. Look at that. That's awesome. Here, just to show you guys at home. Solid, that... solid copper. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me get a towel so we can wipe that off. Okay. Yeah, I want to see. I, I really, am, I'm interested in the processor. I am too. Like, that's gonna be. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here. Drum roll. Drum roll. <laughs> yeah, this thermal paste is like silver. It's weird. AMD? Dude, that's an AMD Simpron. A Simpron. That is, wow. So this is one of these boards that I guess we keep back in the Hall of Fame. Yeah. I don't even know if you should take it out. Like, I feel like... I, yeah, I don't know. I think, no, take it yeah. out. Take it out. You're going to have to lift this all the way up. Yeah. There you go. Now it's unlocked. Look at that. That's beautiful. So now, now, just think about this. Just a few days ago, I mean, at the time of recording this, just a few days ago... Ryzen third gen launched. Yeah, you know, that's you true. Got there, so and here you are holding like I mean probably this is like what 14, 16. You know what? Actually, do you have your phone on you? I'm kind of interested in. I do. Yeah. You know what? Do you mind yeah. just look up when those came out? You look it up. There, anyway, this thermal paste out of here. This is probably poisonous as fuck. AMD Simpron. Two thousand one, I think. What is it? What is it? Simpron? What does it say? Anything or does it say just Simpron? 
Uh, Simpron SDA 300 AIO 2BX. Hmm. Symbols in China. Does it say anything like a Simpron 140 or 150 or? Uh, no. Interesting. SD what? SDA 3000. SDA 3000? SDA 3000. Hey, that comes up with something. I wonder what the specs are on that. If we were rock rocking with 512 megabytes of RAM. Wow. So this was a 64-bit processor. All right. It's an E6. It's socket 754. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Well, let's work on getting this keep doing board that out of here. More about this. Now you look at that. I want to get this board out of here. It ran at 1.8 gigahertz, rated for 3,000 plus. Hmm. That's interesting. It only had one core, one thread. Imagine that. <laughs> <laughs> Used 59 watts. Really? Yeah. Thermal design power is 59 watts. Hmm. This is crazy to think of how far. It came out mid-2004. So about 15 years ago. About this time, 15 years ago, is when AMD launched that. And now, you know, 15 years later, here they are releasing Ryzen 3rd Gen. All right, just like that, we got this old motherboard out. That is, whoo, that's an oldie. That's, oh yeah. look at oh, that. Don't, don't throw it away. Recycle. Yep. Nah, dude, this, we gotta this take is this straight. To, we gotta take that straight to Best Buy. Straight to Best Buy. Recycle. Don't they charge you or not? They probably do. <laughs> they <laughs> probably do. I don't know. We have to look at that. Let me look that up. Let's see. So I think on these hard drives, we'll probably have to flip this guy over. Well, I think what we may need to do yeah, is pull out the blower to... first. No, no. Let's just... Uh, you think we can get him out without it? Yeah, yeah I think so. We, can just, okay. we have access to the screws right there, so let's just pop these filters out these. real quick. Sorry. Oop. Need a bigger screw bit here. Here. That helps. Let's try. There we go. Yep. Gotta have the right tool for the right job. That's right. I think those are the only two that hold it in. Yeah, I think those are only two that hold that one in. That's right, it looks like it. Yep, that's a fair minute. So they, they'll probably just come right out with it, so whenever I flip it over, I'm gonna have to hold both under it. Yeah, be careful. Because I don't think those SATAs are very long at all. I don't think they are either. Yeah. I'm still impressed by this full solid copper. Oh, I know, it's dude. Like, man, like. Definitely want to hold on to that, that's awesome. <laughs> this just shows its age, man. I know, right? That's Back when I'm like, World of Warcraft came out. <laughs> <laughs> That's why now we got Classic coming out. All right, here we go. Flipping her over. That's just a cool blow motor. I kind of want to keep it. It's just a cool heat sink. <laughs> Check that out. The classic uh, heat shield on the bottom. Oh, that's cool. All right, All right. now this is going to be interesting to try to get those out. Yeah. Because it seemed like they're in there pretty good. So this is still clipped on something on the front. So is this one. Really? So let's see here. Let's flip it back over. Let's see. You don't think we need to take the front off? We might have to. The bezel? We just might. Let's see, there's these two screws here. Well, those two go to the blower in the middle. Yeah, and I think we're gonna have to take that out as well. Okay. Well, I'm gonna separate these away. You gotta always keep your screws organized so you know which ones go where. Yep, yep. I've actually been to times where I misplaced things. Suddenly learned what not to do, I'm gonna tell you that. <laughs> 
All oh, right, that's nice. Hard drive. Hard drive. Okay. All right, so blower is free now. It should just lift up and out. Yeah. Looks, it's kind of glued oh, on there. Oh, it's glued on there. Yeah. This this little piece is. Oh, it's just a clip on there. Hold on, see, look. Oh, whatever. It's fine. Just pull it over yeah. there. So we'll get to that out. Look, boom. Right, done. Let's just set this off to the side. So now we can work on these drives. So we're obviously stuck with something. Are they on pegs or something? I think we're gonna have to pull this front off to find out what's going on. Because I wonder here, hold on, flip over. I, I have an idea. Alright. And wonder. Yep, yep, yep. These. Yep. Or holding these it. Two, I was going to say these two, yep. Yep, yep. For sure. <coughs> it's awesome. It has a little blower in here, too, because this is going to Yeah, be, I know. Whew. And that's the thing, too. Since it's a fanless, uh, fanless design, like... Yeah, dude, it's blower? awesome you found that mini ITX board. I know, it's awesome. Wait till we get to show that thing off, get its specs. I mean, we haven't even gone over where we're going to be putting all this thing. That's going to be here just a bit. That's going to be... Whew. Yeah, that's a whole other story. Yeah. For now, we need to get it in the thing that we can actually use. Oh, there we go. And now, the main reason we're building this is uh, Sean here actually does a lot of music, and he's building this kind of just basically a travel machine for him. So when he does go out and he needs access to a machine and needs something to be able to store things or record things, things like that, and be able to have a place, he's kind of got it in a small form factor. Nice, these smaller ones are, I think. I'm gonna try to keep these all. Yeah. You can definitely tell which ones are in the uh, yeah. hard drives and which Let's ones aren't. Just plugging a drop right here. Try to pull this guy out. No, I think there's that lip that's still holding them in there. Let's see. Yeah, but they're ready to drop now, aren't they? Yep, they're free. Where were they? Oh, okay. right. right, check it out, dude. Molex to Seda. I know, but. That's beautiful. But uh, we need. Um, we need one more. Yeah, I know. What we're going to want to do. All right, so let's just go ahead and get everything out of here. So let's grab these Seagate drives out right now. <clears throat> it's 250 gigs. Not bad. Back in the day, that, that, bear, that this thing was probably expensive back in the day. Oh, yes. Ooh. No, this would have been several, several grand. So we're gonna get rid of these red sand boards by replacing them. Gonna work. Let's see. Get Try this. to pull out that. We need to get this old plate off back here. Okay. Tolerance as that's funny. All right, okay. <coughs> so everything's out. 